Welcome to another fun day here in Upstreet. This is Yora Tikaril, and this morning on Upstreet, we are going to continue talking about our new big idea, and that is trust and knowing that we can always count on God. But before that, I have some few questions for you. Kids, what was the absolute best thing that happened to you this weekend? And why? Okay, next question. Kids, what are you looking forward to this week? And why? Great, that's nice. So our game this morning is called the scenario game. So we played this game last week and again, the mechanics is I will be reading some scenarios and you have to decide whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Now, if you think it's a good thing, then do a thumbs up. However, if you think it's a bad thing, then do a thumbs down. Is that clear? Nice! Now, let's begin, shall we? First scenario, you win a million pesos. Wow! Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> a million pesos! That's a lot of money, right? Okay, moving on to our second scenario. You win a pet snake. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm scared of snakes. So kids, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay, next, our third scenario is you win a pet turtle. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Who among you loves turtle, kids? Okay, that's nice. Now, next scenario is you have to wear tissue boxes instead of shoes. Do you think that's a thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm -hmm. Tissue boxes instead of shoes? Okay, now off to our last scenario. Okay, listen up kids. Our last scenario is you go on a vacation to the library. Yes, you heard that right, to the library. A vacation to the library. So do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Now, if you love books, I'm sure that is a thumbs up, right? Okay, so that's all for our games this morning. Now, this time, I want us all to stand up and let us worship Jesus. You spoke one word and the dark became light. I believe it, I believe it, yeah You spoke my name and my heart came to life I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it
go back to Egypt and find food. And then again, the brothers, they all travel to Egypt again. Same place, they face Joseph still without realizing that it's their dear brother Joseph. They ask for food again. And during that time, Joseph broke down. He shouted and cried loudly in front of many people. And people were thinking, is he going crazy? But yes, Joseph cried in front of his brothers. And that's when the time Joseph told them that I, Joseph, was the brother we left on the big hole and the guy he sold to some traveling strangers. And that's when the brothers realized that it was indeed Joseph. And they all cried. But you see kids, here we will see in the life of Joseph that Joseph really trusted God no matter what. Because after that time, when they all cried together, Joseph told his brothers that he was not mad or angry about what happened in his life. Because God was there with Joseph all those times. And Joseph knew that God had a plan for his life. And so they all rejoiced because they all saw and met each other again. Okay, you see kids, from the life of Joseph, we can learn that we can trust God no matter what. Even when times are hard and we don't understand why these things are happening, we can still trust God. So our bottom line for today is we can always trust on God. I can always trust on God and you can always trust on God no matter what. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something and see you in small group with Ate K. Bye for now. Hello kids, this is Ate K and welcome to our small group today. So today will be our last part talking about uh, Joseph. So right now for our activity, I want you to prepare um, a notebook or journal or a drawing book. So this will be, um, I will call this a plan book. And the, I have here a title of the first page. That would be our bottom line. I can trust God no matter what. So prepare any notebook, a drawing book um, that you can write into and prepare a pen. And also title your first page, which is our bottom line. So, I'm gonna discuss this uh, later uh, about our plan book. But first, let's talk about uh, the life of Joseph. So, Joseph has a pretty um, unique life, right? So, even if Joseph didn't understand at that time, Joseph continued to trust God. And today, we heard about Joseph. Um, how Joseph see God that God had a plan the whole time so was it uh, was there a time in your life that um, you didn't understand anything and you know what's going on why is this happening sometimes uh, we celebrate um, good things but sometimes um, yeah life is just a roller coaster there are, you know, bad things happening and we didn't understand. So, um, in regards to that um, circumstances, um, you know, what is happening in your life right now that it's hard for you to see the good plans that God um, in store for you? So, uh, just a reminder for uh, today's small group that we can trust God because He promised to love us always and He will be with us and He has plans for you, for you and for me and for everyone. So let's take a look at your, let's bring out your plan book and 
um, yeah, we called it I Can Trust God No Matter What Handbook. And write two to three things that you're struggling with. Um, it's either example, um, you're struggling um, in your family, or you're in your school, or your friends. So example, in my, uh, in my school, that I uh, will write that I'm struggling in my grades, teachers are pressuring me right now, and especially my uh, classmates aren't so good to me. So you can write all those things in this plan book, in our journal. And uh, that's why I put the bottom line at the first page so that you will be reminded that I can trust God no matter what. So all those things that you're um, writing down um, are all part of God's plan. And He will work it out and use them all somehow, just like He did with Joseph. So thank you so much for joining today and I hope that you learned something. Okay, you, um, you take care always and stay safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now kids. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight let's do it again proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways Submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6.